Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription of the Dollar Bead Box and Bag. In case you're interested in these two subscriptions, I will link them down below in the description bar. So make sure you check that out. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. I have my knife here. First, we're going to do the bead bag. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. Those are really pretty. Let's see, I want to put them together. These right here. That one too. I kind of like these together. Yeah, it's like mystical looking. Pretty. Okay, these are three. What is that? Look at that red one. I've never seen that before. So those are three. That's three, and these are four. We're going to start with the three. Okay, first thing on the list is Crystal Royal Ruby Luster. That must be this one. I've never seen this before. Crystal Royal Ruby Luster. That's really neat looking. It kind of looks like there's Picasso on it, but it's metallic. It's metallic spots instead of being that Picasso color, which is green, blue, purple specks, beige specks. It looks more metallic. But that's pretty cool. I really like that strand. Looks old. The next one is Garnet. Oh my gosh, I got this screwed up. Garnet with Silver Wash. So this is actually the Garnet with Silver Wash. I usually go down the list to make sure I got it right. And this one is the Crystal Ruby Luster. Yeah, and then this is Metallic Bronze Iris, which it kind of looks green to me. Maybe it is bronze. And then matte fuchsia. Okay, okay. So this one is the um, garnet silver wash, which explains the metallic color on there. And this one is the crystal royal ruby luster. When I saw ruby, I instantly thought this color right here, right? Ruby red. I don't really think of this one as ruby. This has a copper look to me. Yeah, it looks just like copper. Right, but I really do like the red one. That red one is killer. Okay, oh, oh, those two together. Those are pretty. Okay, then the next one is the metallic bronze iris. And I don't think I have this color in my stash. I don't have any of these colors, but, you know, a color like this I thought I would have in my stash, but thinking about it, I don't think I have this. I might have it in a 6 millimeter, but I don't know if I have it that small. And then matte lilac fuchsia. This is epic. I'm really liking this in matte. It's very cool looking. And it looks like we have the 4 millimeter to that. So going to this, the first one is metallic green iris and I do think I have this and I love this color I can't get enough of the iris beads any iris bead the green iris blue purple and the multi the multi ones my favorite bronze iris it's gorgeous gorgeous um, the next one is matte blue violet that must be this one Yeah, because the next one's blue violet, which would be the clear, and then the matte lilac fuchsia. Again, I really like this. It's so beachy. It has a beach glass vibe to me because it's matte and it has those pretty colors like that. Okay, and then this is the matte violet. Again, very pretty, but it seems more pale to me. So these two here are 
the same exact bead. It's just one is matte and one is clear. And I think what I've learned, when they go to make these beads, it actually starts out looking like this. And then they put it through another process for it to get matte. So it's actually more work to make this matte bead than it is to make that one air. Believe it or not. But the matte one looks like it has more purple on it. Okay, and then this is the matte lilac fuchsia. I thought lilac was a purple color. Because this looks like a very dark blue to me. And that pink is so dark that it's kind of looking red. Almost looks like red, white, and blue. I don't know. It could be my lighting. I do have really good lighting, though. It's just the shiny surfaces and white things makes my um, camera look darker. So I actually need to get that white box out of the frame. But um, these two here are matches. That's the three and four in the same color. And I love it when they do this because I always have projects where I need both sizes in the same color. So that's cool. Alright, so I like this. I think out of all of these, my favorite strand is the red one. I would say the Irish green, but I've had that color for a long time and this is new to me, so I'll go with that one there. That's really pretty. Oh my. Oh my. So, first off, the butterflies are incredible. Look at that. I gotta get this box out of here. The butterflies, I gotta know what that color is gonna be. Those are pretty. This strand is awesome. What is this color going to be? That's amazing. It's like cream. I've never seen anything like that before. And then are these the mushroom beads? Epic. This looks like a really, oh my gosh, those buttons. <gasps> this looks like a really, really good box. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the list. Um, I need strands. Those are first. Whoa, those are ripples. Check ripples. Um, number one is 8 by 12 millimeter check glass tabular rectangle. This lavender opal with travertine. These are gorgeous. Yes, I would definitely buy these in a heartbeat. If I saw these, I was at a beach store, I would totally grab them. And there's a good amount on there. I think we have a dozen beads maybe? They're pretty. And it's not just purple. It's actually that satin color. Um, recently, you know, I've seen this co color, this effect around for years. But, um, it's not opaque. It has, it has like a, a, a cat eye look to it almost. But I actually found out from another subscription box that it's called Silk. That bead there, how it looks like that. It's pretty cool. So, love that strand. Next one is 6mm check glass struck. What color is this? Matte purple iris. I can't really tell it's purple, but right now it, the bead is um, matte and it's very dry. And once you get your skin oils on here, the color shows better. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Can't have enough of those. And those there look great together. And then the next thing is 6mm check glass pearl. This, what is this color? Bone? This color is so bizarre, like it's a cream color, but it has this Aurora Borealis, is that what I would call it? Iridescent. It has an iridescent look to it. There, maybe you can see it there on my skin. It's really unique. I have not seen a color like this before. I don't know if my camera's showing it, but the iridescent on that dark creamy color just looks incredible. I really like those. And this actually looks good together. The next thing is 6mm check fire polish jet green iris. What? Oh, jet means black. And then it has a green iris finish on it. So that's this bead here. 
and I think I got this last time but in like 10 or 12 millimeters it came in a baggie and I feel like the iris color is kind of hard to notice like you have to look closely at the bead and examine it in order to see that iris on there you know what I'm saying like from a distance you don't really see it All right next thing is four by six millimeter check glass drop pearl luster I don't really think it's called no wait, it's this one right the next one is a drug that's that the mushroom okay yeah so this one it's gonna be this one four by six millimeter check glass drop pearl purple luster excuse me not pearl 35 beads this is pretty um, I have a lot of teardrops I have boxes just for teardrops like I do for my flowers and leaf beads because I use these to make flowers all the time and um, I have never seen this color or this finish on a teardrop bead so that's pretty awesome it's a really pretty purple I love that and then after that drop is four millimeter Chet glass struck crystal that's this here so clear beads if you have a bunch of clear beads and you don't know what to do with them, I recommend that you string them on some kind of color um, stringing material. For example, Softflex has colored wires like this here. We get these sometimes in this subscription box, but colored wires and colored like threads and stuff look really cool with clear beads. The clear bead magnifies the color. And it looks really great. So that's just an idea there for you. Okay, next thing is the 6mm Czech Glass Mushroom. I think this is going to be my most favorite strand. They're calling this Rose Gold. But that doesn't really make sense to me. I kind of know this as a marble finish or like a, a, a luster. I've actually seen it called luster. Or, or even um, the other subscription box that I uh, subscribe to, I think they call it Purple Picasso. Which is kind of strange because I have Purple Picasso um, Super Duos and they don't look like this. They are a opaque purple with the goldish brown specks on it and they're called Picasso. But I think this might be my absolute favorite bead. I wonder what this would be like in my flowers. I don't know if I've tried this bead before my flowers. If I do, I think I would have to string it with the hole facing up this way. Because if you watch my flower videos, and I'll put a picture in now. Um, most of my flower rings and pendants I have to have beads that have holes going this way and this way. And um, sometimes w uh, one style of bead will only work in a certain direction. So I absolutely adore these. These are my favorite. And then this here is 12 millimeter Czech glass cornflake. That's the, that's the name? What? No, it's not the name. Czech glass cornflake. The, the, na the color is purple, black, silver. So, I don't know why they're calling it this, but this is actually a Czech Ripple bead. It's a disc shape, but it's rippled. And there's three ripples that go around. I have these in my stash in California Gold. Um, a few different colors. But um, I'm very surprised that they have such a big strand on these, because I bought these from Shipwreck Beads. And they were very expensive, and I did not get this many. I think I paid for like 10 beads to have like packs of 10 or something like that. I don't know, it's been years. But um, this is very cheap to get that for a dollar. That's crazy. This too, getting this for a dollar. The other uh, place that I get a lot of my check beads from, you can't get this for a dollar. No way. This strand would be five bucks. So that's crazy right there. There's some amazing things you can get in the dollar uh, bead box that are very cheap compared to some other places. All right, so we, we did the strands. Now we're going to go to the baggies. 
First thing is 18 millimeter vintage style check glass heart. That's this. This is beautiful. Ruby with copper. I got this before in this box in white with a gold wash and oh my gosh it was so gorgeous this is a really cute bead the detail on it it's very romantic looking I love it and I actually wonder what it would be like if I put these two together and I got one of those big acrylic roses put that in the middle I might have to do like some daisies, metal daisy spacer beads in between and then a bead here at the end and make this into a macrame bracelet. Remember my Creative Dreams bracelet? That bracelet is a really epic design because you can use very fancy beads in it and you only need a couple of them to do it. So um, that's an idea. All right, moving on. Next thing is 20 by 23 millimeter pewter butterfly charm. So this butterfly charm, I really like this because of the direction of the hole. So usually when you get charms like this, the hole is flipped the other way, but this one's straight up. So it's actually more of a pendant than a charm. And this is double sided. And the detail on it is really nice. One of the prettiest butterfly charms I've seen. Um, I do have several butterfly charms in my stash, but most of them are just one-sided, so that's an epic charm. I can't wait to check out those butterfly beads there. The next thing is 14 millimeter check glass two-hole button bead. Red AB, two pieces. What? They're calling this a button bead, but it just looks like a button. This is a crazy color. Red AB. Is it double sided? No. No. So that's what it looked like before. It actually looks orange to me. It looks very orange. These are cute. I think I got a button like this in the past from the dollar bead box. Same color, but I swore it was bigger than this. So that's what it looks like. Glass buttons are so expensive. Ooh, I just realized how awesome those spikes are. Um, the next thing is 8x20mm check glass oval. What? Oval. Oh, jet. That's these. Have I used these before? Yeah, I've used these before. I made a bracelet with these and chain. It was a dollar bead box project. I wonder if I can find the picture of that project. That was a really cool design. Aren't those pretty? I like those. Oh, it's on the wrong side. What's that? Um, after the oval is 12 by 14 millimeter check glass butterfly purple AB, but it also has a pink wash on it. Yeah, four beads. Um, I'm shocked that there's four in here because I swear usually when we get these butterflies, there's two. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So one side has AB and one side doesn't. Yeah, so w what I saw in my bag was this side that did not have the AB. But check out this side that does have the AB. That one kind of looks purple the AB finish. This one, this one has a greenish gold AB on it. Those are amazing. I just recently got some really pretty um, Czech butterflies like this and I was blown away by them but 
these here are also really amazing very magical colors makes me want to do a fairy garden or something I love those All right. Next thing is 8 by 20 millimeter check glass drop. This matte white with copper wash. Doesn't look white, but I'll see when I'll open it. Hmm. Oh, it's uh swirly. It's at least that one was. This one, have you ever seen this? The, the beads that are clear. I have a bracelet up here. These beads right here. It's clear, right? Transparent, but then it has that white in there. Those round ones, too. That's what I'm talking about. I love those. Anyways, that's what this one looks like. It's clear on the bottom, and then there's like white up there in the middle. But this one here. Yeah, that one's like it, too, but it's not as. This one has more clear in it. You can see when you put it up to light. But those are neat. I've been getting some really incredible drop beads like this in this box. Um, in case you didn't know, a while back I got some that were turquoise with gold or copper wash. They were really pretty. Okay, next thing is 10 by 12 millimeter fresh square freshwater square coin pearl two. These here. Are these going to be center drilled? Um, let's see. Yeah, they are. Right there. Those are cute. Okay, next thing, 12 millimeter check glass waterfall cut crystal, <gasps> six pieces. They're calling this waterfall, but I thought this was called helix. And like I said, I always find that different companies make up different names for beads. Which I kind of don't like because if you want to rebuy something and that company no longer sells it, how are you going to find it when they're calling it clown beads but it's actually confetti uh, check fire polish beads? You know what I'm saying? Aren't those pretty? So it, it might be hard to see but on camera it has that helix where it's spinning. From the top there you can kind of see how it's faceted on the sides. It really is gorgeous. Yeah, that's pretty. And this is a check bead, by the way. They're stunning. And by the way, have you seen the check confetti um, fire polish beads? They are amazing. I have some. And I've only ever seen them twice in my life. All right. Next thing is six by seven to millimeter check glass spike blue iris eight pieces. These here. These are strange beads to me. I've tried making these into flowers, but I don't think it worked out because of their base. Their base is so huge, right? And then it has that point there, and they're just really hard to get into flowers. But I do like how these look strung up on a necklace for like a center piece on a necklace. They'd look cool for that. Okay, we have one bag, one bag left. And these are called TerraCast French Hook Ear Wire with 2mm bead. Silver filled. What color is this? It says silver filled, but to me, 
They look uh, gunmetal. Or pewter. Yeah, maybe pewter. Those are pretty. You know what I like about these? These are really good ear wires. And the reason why is because this wire here curves down a lot. Usually when you get these ear wires, especially the cheap ones, these are not cheap though, these are the Terracast ones. They are quality. This here sticks out really far, like over here. And those always fall out of my ears. So what I do when I get those, and I, if I make earrings with them, I always bend it down so it looks just like this. Because this ear wire here is less likely to come out of your ear. Here is everything we're getting in this month's dollar bead box, and I really like this box. There's a lot of stuff in here, and I love the purples that they have. The drops, these colors here, those trucks, these butterflies are absolutely amazing. Those are some of the prettiest I've ever seen. And um, this pearl color here, I really don't feel like y'all are seeing how amazing it is, because in person, it is to die for. That is, that is gorgeous. I would like to have a lot of those. And those mushroom beads there are probably my most favorite in that strand. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I will leave a link for the dollar bead box down there below in the description bar. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.